Hey everybody, welcome back to more Crisis Core. In the last episode, uh, it looks like Angeal's just bounced in the chaos of the summon of Ifrit and, you know, finishing up the mission over in Wutai. He's gone, and has been gone for a month. On top of that, we've been assigned a new mission, which is to assist one of the Turks, whose name I have immediately forgotten, and going to Genesis's hometown. Who was the first of the uh, deserters from Soldier? Uh, off the clock, you can see I'm level 11. Uh, I didn't gain any levels initially. Now, this is something I did not look up prior. Um, I'm going to assume, as I said before, that leveling is random. I went ahead and did some of the missions in the game, so allow me to uh, at least show you the menu here. Um, here's the first tier that we unlocked, and it's the only one I actually tried to end the war with Wu Tai. Pursue the Remnants is the next uh, little folder, and it leads to a bunch of these. And I continue to go through each of these missions, which, um... Uh, they say that these two are very hard, but I didn't find this one very hard. Found this one hard, and this one, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I went through, and I believe on Stop the Intruders, I leveled up three or four times. I don't know what the difference really is, I'm just gonna guess that it's random. Maybe based on you having a bunch of soldier points from killing enemies, they might increase the chance. But I leveled up a bunch here, and I feel like I should have leveled up, you know, evenly throughout going through the beginning of the game and these first four missions. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, either way, I'm not really having too much of an issue, so I don't really have anything to complain about. Um, these have you generally just fight stuff. Just fighting, you know the Wu Tai troops in various situations, and as they get harder, there are more of them. Uh, they're, they're more aggro on you, and stuff like that. Also, this one has you fight the monster that Angeal ends up saving you from at the end of the last mission. When we take out the two giant Oni-looking guys, and the third one comes out, you gotta fight that. And it's got about 41,000 HP. I got more than halfway down, but I died. Um, to be fair... It's generally just a very difficult fight, uh, mainly because it has eventually a limit break that it uses uh, every so often, every couple, two, three minutes of fighting, and it it can deal anywhere from a thousand HP to or uh, eleven hundred. And to be honest, my HP is capped at about eleven thirty eight. It did like eleven fifty, so it auto killed. Sometimes I live through it because of the battle system and the DMW. Uh, Allowing me to break HP, MP, and AP limit, which happens a lot in this game. I have to say another plus for me doing missions off-screen is that I have a better understanding of how the game systems work. So you'll, um, like when random special attacks popped up and stuff like that, I, I know how that stuff works now. So when we go in to actually deal with things, I'll be able to give you an idea of like what's going on and, and just generally be a bit more knowledgeable on what I'm doing which is important. So that being said, I should also go through my setup. So we've got some different materia here. we got HP up. Libra. It enables detection of target status. You can see their HP and MP. Mostly good to see their HP. You do not see it mid-attack. You see it when you are in a standard... when you're in, you're in standard state where you're not performing an action. So that's really good. Thunder, which I've mastered, and Cure. Uh, leveling up these things was fairly easy because... You know, every couple of battles, a moduling phase would end up with two of one number, and it gave me the level up on them. Accessories, I've got Muscle Belt, which is attack and vitality up by five, and a bulletproof vest. I might feel like getting Mute Shock, which I got from the most recent mission victory, which adds silence to physical attack and certain physical attacking skills. But right now, I just want to go with damage. Go with damage and defense. And Vitality is really good because Vitality protects against uh, physical attacks, which we're getting quite a few because bullets are hitting us in the face. Anywho, that's enough of uh, talking strategy and systems. It's time to talk to you. I am ready. Ah, it's Seng. That's right. Hello, Seng. You're a cool guy. Let's go. Ready to go? A routine job, right? No sweat. I wonder. Originally, Sephiroth was assigned to this mission. That means it's a top priority matter. Be alert. 
or you'll fail. And Sephiroth? Refusing to go, apparently. Oh, what is that? They spoil him too much. <laughs> Why don't you say that to his face? Uh, no thanks. Benora White Trees. Ah, this is where uh, Angeal was as well, when in his youth. Dumb apples. Why are your mouse still moving? There's no text. Ah, okay, I just had to hit X again. That was weird. Connections are growing. This really isn't helping the whole defecting case of one and then both go. Activating combat mode. Alright, let's go. Let's show off some of my new moves, which involve just killing people easily, it seems. So, here is a moment where you see various scenes like that appear. That denotes what level your power surge is going to be. Oh, we got a level too. Awesome. Really good. So whenever it's three of the exact same face on screen, uh, you are allowed to do a special attack. Uh, they are each this different the depending end. on the character. I'm trying. I'm trying. This one is airstrike. I believe it's completely specific to each character, and if you don't have anything special for that character, it's some default Zack sword move. That one's airstrike. So uh, depending on how many little pictures there, you can get better stuff. Like um. Whenever you go through more of the game, you can get a higher level of it because there's more cutscenes to uh, take from. That showed a snapshot of, like, one thing with this guy, I guess, in reference. And the more you have, the higher level it's going to be. Because they showed an entire cutscene with Angeal for mine, which were five snapshots for it. And it led to a level five move, so... The more you go through the game, you'll have... You naturally will have better uh, modulating phase, like... Special attacks. <laughs> limit breaks, I guess. So, I'm guessing that's what the limit breaks are. They're they're good. They're good, and now that I know how they work, it makes a bit more sense. Huh. Alright, so, we have some simple orders here. Take out, take out these weapons that, uh, you know... They, do, they should not have, because they stole them. Can't just take it. Mmm, apples. Sup, console? Here, there's a lot of Shinra people there. Apparently, the village's main source of income is apples. For us, their budget's made of subsidies. Uh, hmm. Something to do with Mako, or... Alright, you keep looking into it, console. Don't die. That you are kind of annoying at times. Look at these Genesis clones. Let's get them. Hmm, combat's going to be easy for a bit because of the levels I gained, but really I didn't think they would gain so quickly. Wow, I crit so well there. That was amazing. Oh man, I can't believe how much stronger I am. I just kept doing the missions to see if I could do them. Not my fault one of them gave me four. Look at the draw, I guess. I feel so bad. But then again, I don't. Yo, that's a robot. We should kill it.
President won't be disappointed, alright. Take out this guard spider with 7225 HP. Uh, I was just thinking watching this, I'm like, man, Final Fantasy games are good. I, I don't know, I really... They can make a bunch of these types of games, I'd be happy. This just reminded me what that I really like the body of work that Tabata, uh, as a director for these games has done. Because these, these games are nice. This is very graphically impressive for a PSP game. You know, I thought it wouldn't really, really hold up, but to be honest, to me, it looks pretty damn good. And it's definitely better than what, you know, a, a PSP title would be. So it's like, it's like, man, this would be good. I would love for them to do an HD remix of this type of game to make it look even better. But even then, you know, it looks perfectly good. I just completely destroyed you. <laughs> Eat it! A Genesis copy. Where did you hear that? Sephiroth said it. The technology was stolen from our scientists. Huh? It apparently allows Genesis's abilities and traits to be transplanted to soldier members and monsters. Soldier and monsters were the same? I wouldn't necessarily lay it on thick, but soldiers, if I recall from the lore of these games, are injected with Mako, which I believe is like the, like, part of the life source of the world, and that's what gives them their vibrant, infused eyes. We gotta go. But, uh, they, they essentially make them super soldiers, that's why we can jump super hard, and why we are pop more deadly using a sword than with guns. So some people can view them as monsters, as killing machines. You know, war, war talk, you know. I just like how bright this is compared to the last level. I like varying locales. This one's nice. But is cool. This is Genesis's home. His parents are wealthy landowners. But I never stole from that tree. Because the wealthy man's son was my friend. They weren't mere acquaintances. They grew up together and were best friends. So Genesis deserts and gets his best friend Angeal to join him. Is that it? Sephiroth believes that's the case. There. A gravestone, still very new. Zack, go find Angeal's house. I'll check the grave. Ugh. So Turks always do this stuff? Someone has to do it. Must be rough. Don't worry. We're paid much better than you are. Hey! <laughs> no I love that. He's like, man, I feel really bad for you guys. Don't worry, we make uh, two extra zeros on our check. What bullshit! Fuck these Turks. Uh, lo I love Zack. Like, he can be serious when needed. It's just that he's an enjoyable character, you know? Very enjoyable. I wouldn't say better than Cloud, but better than Cloud. That's not even a knock in him. I just... I'm a nice Zack guy. He's bae. And I'm not even gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Anywho, let's head down here. We have ourselves a save point and a shaky screen. And Jill's house is the save point house. Yeah, I have no idea which one it is. Probably should help me out here. I have no problem checking every house on the thing. No problem at all. Okay, it's not a save point. Okay, I'll uh, make sure to raid the place. The only thing we have is apples and, and the occasional health item. It 
what? I like that. It's like, yo, it's a fucking wolf. Let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. This ain't good. There's... Oh, can you actually mess with the camera? You can mess with the camera. Oh, uh, just in exploration sections, I guess, and not anything else. But looking like uh, there's probably not any more people here. Unless that was just rare occurrence. Can I help you? Uh, uh greetings, ma'am. Are you Angeal's mother? Um, my name is Zack. Are you Zack, the puppy? Excuse me? <laughs> my son wrote to me once about you. Zero attention span, restless as a little puppy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angeal. You're not here together with Genesis, are you? No, I'm not. Don't worry. What is happening with my son? I'm not really sure. Genesis came back here a month ago with an army of cohorts. And they proceeded to take the lives of many townspeople. Genesis, he used to be such a good boy. Is Angeal... He came here. But he left his sword and went off somewhere. That sword represents our family's honor. I see. No wonder. He never uses this sword, really, ever. I'll take care of Angeal. You should go and hide somewhere. Don't be concerned. Genesis cannot harm me. Hmm. Yo, can I, uh, can I take that? When Angel joined Shinra, my husband had that sword made for blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Had to borrow a lot of money. Oh. Okay, so the story of the legendary Final Fantasy VII Buster Sword is they made it for their good old son, Angel. And it cost so much money paying back the debt, Angeal's father succumbed to fatigue and died. Well, at least it's owned by Angeal, and Angeal's pretty fucking cool. Aside from this possibly being a bad guy thing. Oh. More monsters? Oh no, copies. Let's go. Activate it. Thank you. Let's go. Not a problem. A factory on the outskirts of town. There's a chest down there. I saw it. You can't hide it from me. Sounds like a plan, Mr. Mr. Sang. You see something, but you can't mess with it yet. I guess we just gotta wait. Um save point. Let's uh let's grab ourselves that save and look at our map. Where are we supposed to go? Uh next zone, so Oh god. You're wasting my time. Oh, yeah. 
Hmm. He ain't got nothing on me. Am I going the right way now? Yeah, I am. Unless that thing all the way on the right is. I think it's the thing on the right. I hate getting lost, because the game doesn't really have a go this way point. But I'm gonna guess it's this because they broke this down. I should go for that instead of, you know, the thing. Yo, that's a robot. Like, that's literally just a goddamn robot. Take that, you stupid robot. <laughs> like, beep boop, I'm gonna fight. Turn to beep boop, I'm just dead. I'm gonna go down here just for the chess. Unless the game's like, what are you doing going down there? Let me guess. What are you doing going down there? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm Zack right now. It's like, but chess! Oh, don't you. Ah. I'll have my days eventually. Alright, let's just hook around the left. I want the treasure. Guess we could leave through the front later. Ooh, treasure. What do we got? High potion. We got some mail. Our new direction. Soldier members, thank you for the daily hard work. Upon receiving a report on an unspeakably tragic incident, I find myself thinking about parental bonds. Ooh. Just as happiness can be found in non-biological ties, parent and child can be unhappy even if tied by blood. The difference is whether or not the feelings of respect and appreciation. Without them, ill blood is born. Ill blood is prone to lead to tragedy, and ill blood sometimes affects our missions. While soldiers must always execute our missions quickly, they must focus on risk progression in the future. Alright, that's, that's good. He's a nice guy. Unless he's totally evil, but... You know. Whatever. It's part of a it's part of a super powerful military group. Those guys are always good. In fiction. I'm not trying to make some political statement here. I mean look at me. I do let's plays. I'm not saving the world here. Just trying to make people laugh and get interested in cool storylines. Cause like Angel says, no story is not worth hearing. Which I think is a really, really cool quote. An MP up, uh, Materia. Not really interested in it. We seem to be doing okay on MP. I have to heal sometimes. Hey, Sang. Ready to go? 